Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf and our 100th episode of Weekly Download. I cannot believe we've already done 100 episodes. That's pretty crazy, but sorry, I don't really have anything extra planned. But on today's episode, I'm going to be playing my brand new addiction, Diablo 3. When I give you this news, I got my cup of coffee right there. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section what you're sipping on. Let's get into it. To start off the tech news this week, more and more rumors are starting to pile up indicating that Google is trying to jump into the gaming industry, something that they surprisingly haven't done yet by making their own gaming console. I don't think we are anywhere close to getting any real announcements about this, but apparently they are looking to acquire some major gaming companies and creating a streaming based console. This would be similar to something like Nvidia's GeForce Now, make sure you check out that video if you haven't by the way, but either way, these are just rumors. Speaking of rumors, apparently there was a naming leak at Intel that indicated their plans for the next generation of mainstream CPUs. In this list of leaked names was a Core i9-9900K, i7-9700K, and an i5-9600K. If true, this is actually pretty crazy because this means that Intel plans to bring their Core i9 CPU to the mainstream series. The list also suggests that this is an 8-core 16-thread chip, and that's pretty much all we know about it so far. Next up, a startup company called Plexus is working on creating virtual reality gloves for the Vive and Rift that will bring individual finger control to a whole new level. Priced at just $250, these look like they could provide about as realistic of a motion as possible, and the cool part is that they aren't actual gloves that will make your hands get all sweaty. This is still being developed and has a ways to go before it's implemented, but I'm definitely rooting for this. Moving on to something I'm definitely not rooting for, an article floating around has indicated that Nvidia's new G-Sync HDR module chip will add a $500 price tag to new monitors. As I'm sure most of you know by now, the two main types of adaptive sync and monitors are FreeSync and G-Sync. G-Sync monitors usually cost anywhere from $200 to $300 more purely because the chips are only sold by Nvidia and this is why most people tend to go with a FreeSync monitor even if they have an Nvidia graphics card. Well now that HDR is getting more mainstream, the G-Sync HDR chip is looking at a $500 bump up in price which is just absolutely insane and probably something that I'll personally never buy. And to wrap up the tech news for the week, Corsair announced this week that they acquired the Elgato Gaming Division. There's not much to report here, you probably know these two companies very well, and it definitely seems like a good purchase for Corsair. Corsair has been really stepping up their game lately with peripherals, and Elgato has been dominating in their consumer-friendly game streaming products as well. I'm actually going to review the Elgato HD60 here soon on the channel. I know I'm late to the party, but this thing has completely changed my workflow, and I need to share this with you guys. To start off the PC gaming news for the week, it seems like Blizzard hit the nail on the head with the latest Overwatch patch that added an LFG tool and endorsements. To combat the toxicity that that's been floating around Overwatch and pretty much every competitive game at this point, the LFG tool allows you to find other like-minded players to play with and then you can use the endorsement system to rate players based off their behavior. Apparently the community is really happy with this and it sounds pretty great. Next up, Showtime announced this week that they purchased 10 episodes of a Halo live action series which means we will finally see some Halo action on the TV. The Showtime CEO even said that Halo is our most ambitious series ever and in the history of television there simply has never been enough great science fiction. I don't know too much more about this, I know people have been trying to get this greenlit for almost a decade now, but either way, I'm kind of excited. And to wrap up our very short week of PC gaming news, not much really happened this week to be honest, and that's why I'm reporting some very boring news that PUBG Corp is no longer suing Epic Games for the whole PUBG slash Fortnite thing, and that may just be the end of that. Sorry guys, did I miss anything newsworthy in PC gaming this week? Let me know. Well that wraps up Weekly Download episode number 100. Don't forget that the Weekly Download podcast is also available on platforms like Google Play, iTunes, iHeartRadio, and even as an Amazon Alexa skill. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.